Saying goodbye to a loved one for the final time, is there anything harder? To ease our grief, we mourn, we build shrines, we even keep things that once belonged to the dearly departed. But for some, remembering their departed loved ones can turn into something darker. For these tormented mourners, their grief turns to obsession, their obsession to madness. Take, for instance, the case of Elena de Hoyos. I know you can still hear me, Elena. I'm here. That's Dr. Carl von Kossel and his patient, Elena de Hoyos. <coughs> and that's her family. If they look like they're worried sick, it's because they are. He realized that she had tuberculosis from the x-rays. And from that moment on, he was going to cure her. And so he would treat her almost daily. <coughs> Despite the doctor's best efforts, Elena is just too frail to fight off the tuberculosis. No. No. Elena. No, please. No. no. The loss for the family was truly devastating. But as for the doctor, well, he had lost patients before, but never one so lovely, so dear to him as Elena. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we humbly entrust Elena, our sister. And Dr. Von Kossel spared no expense laying Elena to rest. He even purchased a mausoleum to house her for all eternity. Thank you for everything, Doctor. Of course. Your sister was... Your sister was everything. I know, Doctor. At first, Elena's sister, Anna, would visit her gravesite almost every day. Hello, Elena. It's me. I wish you could have seen Dad's face when we gave him his fishing rod for his birthday. Ah, he was so happy. I wish you could have been there to see it, Elena. Maybe you were somehow. Saying goodbye, letting go was very hard for Anna. OK, love. I'll see you tomorrow. Anna visited her sister's grave every day in the first couple of years, but after a while, the, the visits became fewer and fewer. She began to move on. But for Dr. Von Kossel, well, moving on was not in the cards. My darling Elena, I miss you so. Nearly a decade after Elena's death, Anna limited her visits to anniversary of her sister's passing. But on the ninth anniversary, she encountered something deeply shocking. The grave had fallen into disrepair. It's sad, but it happens. And Anna knew just who to go to. Dr. Von Kossel? Dr. Von Kossel vowed to maintain Elena's grave. He'd certainly want to know if it needed repair, don't you think? Doctor? Dr. Von Kossel? One can see one of the most agreeable clients in the whole world. Travelers can Dr. enjoy some extraordinary mountain views, cascading waterfalls, <laughs> Anna? 
So the good doctor moved Elena's body from her grave here to his home. You see, during her treatment, Elena became much more than Dr. Von Kossel's favorite patient. So very much more. He fell in love with her, wanted to marry her, to be with Elena for the rest of his life. He wasn't going to allow a little detail like death to get in the way of his desire. It started the very day Elena was put to rest. The morning family went home, but Dr. Von Kossel didn't. They say the final stage of grief is acceptance, and Dr. Von Kossel simply was not there yet. Good evening, my dear. I'm back. I'm taking you home now, Elena. And home is where they went, so that Dr. Von Kossel could keep Elena safe and sound and love her with tender devotion. Acceptance of Elena's death came hard. You see how you look today? Each day you get more and more beautiful. Dr. Von Kossel set his mind to preserving his bride for all eternity. As her eyes dried up and disappeared, he replaced them with two glass eyes. Now you can see me. The doctor's sanity was decaying as fast as his subject. Now I know you don't like this, but it's for your own good. Over many months, Dr. Von Kossel used wax-coated silk to wrap her arms, legs, and face, giving her mummified body a look and feel of skin. Her hair was falling out, so he had to ask Elena's mother if she might have some of her hair saved, because she'd had it cut while she was alive. And sure enough, she did. And, and Von Kossel talked her into giving this uh, hair that she had been saving to Von Kossel. And now, for your beautiful hair. Her family had no idea the ghastly project to which they had donated their dead daughter's hair. This will make you live for all eternity. And we can be together again. It all came to a horrifying end when Elena's sister discovered the desecrated body and called police. <laughs> Dr. Von Kossel stood trial for desecration of a corpse and grave robbery. I'm here with you, Elena. Don't be afraid. I'm right here. It was a deep disappointment for the family when all the charges were dropped. It seems Dr. Kossel had carried on his ghastly love affair for so long that the statute of limitations had run out. The doctor was released and Elena was respectfully reburied, this time in a secret location. As for Dr. Carl von Kossel, he died 10 years later. But when they found his body, he wasn't alone, at least not the way he looked at it. Directly across from him was Elena, except that this time, he was a life-size version of her made out of plaster. I guess some people, well, for them, death is no reason to say goodbye.